Hi, my name is Moella, and in this session, I want to speak about removing one item from custom list view. So let's look at the final result. For example, I want to remove item number seven. When I click on that, this message says, do you want to delete this one? Cancel, no. Again, yes. With a kind of animation, we can remove that item. For example, this one, number six, number five. Okay, that was one of the questions that you asked me on my YouTube channel. And now I want to tell you how to make something like this. So let's go to the project. This is my project from previous tutorial. Now let's see what we have. We have a layout here and here. So let's look at them. Here we have a custom list view which covers the whole area of the activity. And the other one, item, which was here. And there is only one label here. Now we want to change the text of that label. So how to access that, maybe here, we can say game LBL as label. And where is that label? The first index inside this panel. So p view. the first index, because that is the first one which added to that layout. As you see, this is the first one. If we had more views here, we could say index number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And this label is number 0. Now we want to change the text of this label. Let's use this one. And the text number. By this one, we can include one variable inside the text. Like this. Now let's see what we have. Okay, now we have a list of items with one number at the end. Now, I want to say when I click on one item, okay, so again, I need this event. If you don't have this event, you can easily create it like this. Go to the layout of your custom list view and right click on custom list view and generate item click. Very easy. And then this one will be added to your activity. Now, how to remove one item? That's very easy. Remove at and it needs the index of the item. If you want to remove the item which you clicked on that, you can use this index. If you know, for example, the number of the item, the index of that one, you can say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. But I want to say the item which I clicked on that. So I can use index. Because every time when I click on one item, the index is at the item which I clicked on that. So let's test that. And now I can click on number five, but without any confirmation message and without any animation. Okay, what about if I want to remove it with a kind of animation? For example, we want to fade that out. I can say, um, first of all, we need to access to that item when I click on that. So how to access that item? It's like this. You know, we had it before here. So let me use the same code. So to type it again, I can say dim um, item as custom list view item. So here is the item when I click on that, but which item? We need to get it from custom list view. Get 
raw item. So how do I know that I need to define one variable like this by this type? Because it says that this one returns custom this view item. But it needs index. Again, we use the same one, which is here. So I say index easily. Now, this item is in my hand. And I can control that. And, uh, for example, if I want to have control over the panel here, like this, because each item, it has one panel inside. As you see, we create a panel here. When we want to create that item, first we create one panel, and then we load one layout inside so the first thing inside that item is panel so i want to make it invisible first set visible animation duration if you want to see that obviously we can say 1000 milliseconds and we want to make it invisible now, if I run the code, you know, I cannot see this because then it's turned to run this code and I cannot see this. So I need to wait how much? Exactly the same amount of time. You know, this one here. So I can see that completely and then you can remove that. Okay. Now let's see what we have. Okay, by kind of animation, I can get rid of that item. What about if I want to have a kind of confirmation message? Uh, we need to add something here. You know, the best practice to have a confirmation message is to use XUI variable. XUI as XUI variable. Because here you have two kind of message. This one and this one. This one, you know, it gets only one message and one title. But this one, you have positive message, cancel, string, negative. And then it returns the um, object. So you need to define one object like this as object. And then you can use this one, you can use this message, and you can define. But if you come down, you see a kind of, you know, sample code here. So without, you know, typing it, you can use it. But it needs that variable. Beam XUI as XUI. And it only logs something. But this is what I want to, I want it to happen when some, you know, the result of this message is positive. You know, uh, as I told you, you know, the, this, you know, message box returns object. Okay. And this code wait for the response of the user and then we can say what was the result was that positive or if you want negative or if you want cancel you can use it like this cancel negative positive now i want positive answer if the answer was positive then run this code okay but well, wait Let's change something here. Delete item. And here we can say notice. Null is, let's see, is icon of the message box. Very good. Now you can see this message box and then yes. But now, 
I want to move it to the left side or maybe right side and then I want to fade that. How to do it? Like this. Uh, let's, uh, you know, make it commented and then P. I can move it like this. Set um, layout animated. Duration is 1000. I want to move it to the left, so I can say minus um, 300 dp. What is the top? Exactly the same, so I can say p the top. So because I don't want to change the top uh, integer and the width is exactly the same, I don't want to change that. If you don't want to change something, you can use the same variable like before, previous variable. And now, this way, I can move it to the left. Let's see. Now I can move it to the left. But if you want to fade it at the same time, you can use them both together. Okay. And this is the result. It looks nice. If you press, no, nothing will happen or cancel. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. So please do not forget to subscribe in my channel and please hit that like button. Thank you for watching this tutorial.